So next up, we're going to take a look at setting the main photo. So let's head back to VS Code. And inside our application folder, inside Photos, let's create another new class. And we'll call this one set main. And once again, this is going to be a command handler. So let's just use this particular snippet and just bring in everything we need. So that will be mediator and persistence and system.threading.tasks and system.threading and also system and just reformat and what we want to do for this one is we want to pass in as a parameter the ID of the photo that we want to set as the main photo so that's going to be a string called ID and what we also need to bring in here is the iUser accessor and call this user accessor and also bring in application interfaces and just initialize the field from parameter and I'll just take out this dot and inside the logic for this the first thing we'll need to do is get a reference to the current user so we'll say var user equals await context dot users dot single or default async bring in entity framework core and say x dot username equals user accessor dot get current username and then what we want to do is get the photo from the users collection so we'll say var photo equals user dot photos dot first or default and we'll bring in system dot link and we'll go x goes to x dot id is equal to request dot id and then we'll check to make sure this photo is not null so if the photo is null then we'll throw a new rest exception and bring in application errors and say HTTP status code and bring in system.net and we'll just say not found and we'll just say new and photo equals not found and then what we want to do is get a reference to the current main photo because we'll need to set that one to false so we'll say var current main equals user dot photos dot first or default and we'll say x goes to x dot is main and then we'll say current main dot is main equals false and we'll do the opposite for the photo that we have in memory and we'll say photo dot is main equals true and all of this is being tracked by our context so when by making these changes inside here we can then go through to save all of our changes and then return success if we get success back from our database as in there's more than zero changes so let's go back to our photos controller and what we want to do is add another method in here and this one's going to be an HTTP post and we'll take in the ID of the photo and we'll add a root called set main that we can use to set the main photo and we'll say public async task and action results and we'll just return units as in nothing at all really and then what we'll do is call this one set main and we'll take in the string as the ID and then we'll return await mediator dot send and we'll say new set main dot command and then we'll just set the ID equal to the ID and we should be good to test so let's head back to postman and let's get Bob's profile again and I'll just resend this request and we've got three photos in here and let's try and set this second one starting NVB to be the main photo 
So we'll go to our set main photo request inside here and let's just update the ID of the photo with the ID in my clipboard and inside the headers here we've just got the bearer token which is Bob's token and inside the body we've just got an empty object and if I click send we should get a 200 OK response and then if I go and get Bob's profile again we should find this one is now set to true and if I click send then sure enough this one's now the main photo and the one that was previously the main photo is no longer the main photo and if I try and do the same and make the same request using a different token and I'll use Bob's token in this case and go to the headers and change the token to Tom underscore token and let's just pick the a different main photo and pick one of Bob's photos and attempt to set a main photo as a different user and I'll just paste in the ID of that particular photo and we're attempting this as Tom and I'll click send and we get a 404 not found because this photo does not belong in Tom's collection. Excellent, we now have the ability to add a photo, delete a photo and also set a photo as the main photo. What we'll do next is now we've got the photos added into our API. We'll look at where we're sending back images to the client and we'll update all of those as well. And we'll look at that next.